Hey guys, Pokemon Collectibles here, and welcome back to another episode of the Mew and Mewtwo Premium Collection box that I have over here. Uh, don't fall. <laughs> okay, I've gotten most of this cleared out of here. All the plastic, except for this. There we go. This thing had a lot of plastic in it. I guess it was keeping everything kind of safe, but there's a lot of plastic and a lot of cardboard. <laughs> So if you guys buy one of these, just know you're going to have a lot to throw away. Okay. Now, I'm a little partial to Bulbasaur because he was actually my first starter. So I'm going to show you guys this one first. Now, I got to turn it sideways because <laughs> it's rather tall. And my arms are only so long, so Venusaur. Or Venusaur, or whatever you want to call him. As I've mentioned in the past, I will probably say these names wrong. Even the ones that are from first gen. <laughs> but, as you guys can see, it just comes off. And then, you have a very nice space to keep cards and stuff in. So, I thought these were really cool. Because I've had deck boxes before, but I've never had one quite this big. So that you can fit multiple decks in it. So I think that's pretty cool. Put it to the side again so you guys can actually see it. But there is a Venusaur one. Here's the Charizard one. Again, you know, the lines could be a little bit darker. Because <laughs> I guess they're red. Like a dark red. But let me go. Put him back there. There we go. <laughs> I love the Generations concept, though. Like, the new cards they have, and uh, the new thing with TCG online, and all. It's really cool. So there's Charizard. I'll probably just leave these in the background, so that when I open my packs, I'll have them back there framing everything. And here is Blastoise. Last but not least. <laughs> Very cool. I always love Blastoise, and his Mega is really cool, too. Except for his face. I don't really like Mega Blastoise's face, because I think they made it too sharp. I know they're trying to change him up, you know, give him a new look and all, but I like the original Blastoise. What do you guys think? Do you like Mega Blastoise or the regular Blastoise? Okay, so let me get the rest of my box back here out of the way. Let me just do some rearranging here. <laughs> There we go, now we have a better background, and they're a little bit further back so I can actually show you guys this book that I found last time. This thing. So for some reason, I did not read this and see that it is actually an illustrated book. It is not a poster, which I thought it was on there. I, I guess when I saw the illustration collection, I did not think of a book, but I don't know what all is in here. Oh, that's cool. There's a drawing of the picture that's on the front. And there's something that is... Oh, that, okay, that's the front. <laughs> I was like, there's something that's trying to come out of here. But that's actually just the uh, little artwork on the outside. Oh, okay. Coloring while considering ambient light. That sounds cool. I wish I was better at drawing and shading than I am. Okay, so it just kind of showed you like the step-by-step -step process of how they made this come to be. Very cool. Oh, that's cool. Hey, Genesect. <laughs> cool. So there's all kinds of artwork in this thing. So yeah, I definitely encourage you guys to buy this if you have the money for it. It was rather expensive. But I just spent about the same amount that I would have on uh, this thing than I, than I would on like a whole week. So if I can make something last a whole week, it really doesn't matter how much it costs as long as it's within, I don't know, the 100 to 150. Oh, that's a really cool zip strike. Simang so shape. He's really big. <laughs> that's a cool zip strike, though. Oh, wow. That's a pretty Mew. Cool. But yeah, it just has all kinds of pictures and there's some cards. I'm going to really like looking forward to I'm going to really like flipping through this later. There's some more cards. Pokemon Living by the Water. Cool. That's just all kinds of stuff. I wish I had the chance to show you guys every page, but I know I'd 
eventually bore you guys. There's a Gengar. He looks kind of silly. <laughs> but, wow, that's a really, really pretty... That's a really nice book. So if you guys are on the fence about it, I highly recommend this. Very, very worth the money. Okay, guys. As you can see, I have these little cards down here. I actually have two of Charizard, two of Blastoise, three of Venusaur, and three of Pikachu. So I'm going to split them up and do five for two videos. And that will round out this little premium collection box. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Thanks guys for watching and have an awesome day.